it's Monday, December the 17th. Just wanted to give you a quick update on Zach and how things are going. Uh, right now he is uh, four days past his transplant and uh, so far he's doing really well. And he's been spending a lot of time in his bed sleeping. He's been to occupational physical therapy a few times since the transplant. They've been really keeping an eye on his in and out take, meaning the amount of fluids he's taking in to the amount of fluids he's expelling to make sure he doesn't have a lot of water retention, which can cause issues with the heart, the lungs, and the liver, and the kidneys. So that's being closely monitored. He had been doing a really good job of keeping his food intake up until recently. Last couple days, he's developed mouth sores, and so that's made it really uncomfortable for him to eat. Uh, the first day, he said it wasn't too bad. They were able to give him some solution to switch around his mouth, which would uh, help out with the discomfort. And he said that helped. Sadly, now the sores are making its way down the throat, and the crappy part about the mouth sores or mucosa as it's got medically called, it can cause issues from the mouth all the way down, basically in and all the way out throughout your entire GI tract. So we're keeping a close eye on that. So they've been giving him some medication to help with the pain. So uh, one of the nurses did stay, uh, she said uh, this morning that, you know, he's pretty stoic when it comes to his pain because what his two level is in regards to a scale of one to 10, can be someone else's 10. So uh, that's attributed to just being you know, tough and have done combat sports. And so he knows what pain is. And plus, you know, he's uh, he's had kidney stones and he said nothing compares pain-wise to kidney stones. Yeah, nothing, a whole lot to report on with the last couple of days. But um, me personally, I'm, I have, uh, I wouldn't say I'm getting to a breaking point just yet. I am getting to the point where I'm getting really mentally exhausted. You know, the part of a caregiver is to make sure that you're there for the patient when doctors or nurses are not around. So I've been having to stay up to keep an eye on him, make sure that he's doing well, get him to the bathroom when he's, if he needs help, um, help him with whatever he needs. It's becoming a challenge. Um, not that I'm complaining, I'm just stating that, you know, there are people out there who think that since I'm here with Zach and he's just resting, that I'm just sitting on my ass doing nothing, which is far from the truth. Um, I've only been getting a couple hours, maybe four or five hours of sleep a night at the most. Again, a lot of it has to do with staying up late. Um, the nurses are here around the clock and there are doctors who work late at night, but they're not all C and I, so to speak, uh, 24 by seven. So my job as a caregiver is to make sure that my son's taken care of. So th to those of you who think this is easy, it's not easy. It's, it's stressful watching your kid going through treatments. It's stressful enough to be with them while they're getting the transplant and it's stressful having to be their caregiver as well. If you find that offensive, I honestly don't give a shit. And if you find it offensive, just unfriend me or unfollow me. I don't give a fuck anymore because quite honestly, um, my son's well-being is more important than stuff going on outside of our realm right now, which is making sure that he gets healthy. He has gone a little bit down because he I know he wants visitors. Uh, he did talk to my wife, Kelly, he did talk to my sister, Amanda, which boosted him up a little bit. It got his spirits up quite a bit. One of my first managers, he gave me one of my first jobs, Mike came out to visit Zach over the weekend or late last week, and that made Zach really happy. Even if uh, people post on his timeline on Facebook, or if you have his phone number, send him a text message, let him know you're thinking about him, that would be awesome. Or if you want, film a little clip saying, Zach, get well, and you know, give me a way to download it and I could put it into a montage clip form, that'd be great. You know, as of right now, we're told that um, until the mouse starts to start to go away and his ANC numbers come up, we're looking at maybe another 10 days, two weeks tops to be here. I know Zach is a little demoralized, so to speak, but he also knows in the grand scheme of things, it's all for the good. So that's where we're at right now. And I don't have much more of an update for you, but uh, thanks again for everybody who's been watching. You know, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please hit the notification icon so you can get notified when new videos are uploaded. Share on your timeline on Facebook or Twitter and make sure that um, close-knit group of people, whether it's your family, your friends, closer, let them know how you feel about them because it's not until you go through a catastrophic events that you start to realize how important people are in your life and make sure you tell everybody you love them. So. Until next time, um, I'll do my best to take care of myself, but you guys take care of yourself and uh, we'll talk to you guys really, really soon. Thanks and uh, have an awesome day.